in chapter 14 we are going to deal with symmetry. Now what is symmetry? Symmetry is basically a figure which can be divided into two identical portions with the help of a line. Now if you are able to divide a figure into two identical portions with the help of a line then this is called the axis of symmetry and this figure is said to be symmetrical. Now in daily lives we will have n number of examples which have got symmetry. For example if you take the figure of a human being. Now if we divide this horizontally or vertically then what happens? If we divide it horizontally we find that the upper portion and the lower portion do not coincide. We have the head here and the legs here they are not identical. But if I am dividing it vertically like this then we find that one hand here, one hand here then we have one leg on the other side and similarly here. So what happens the human being is symmetrical with respect to the vertical axis which is often called the y axis and the horizontal axis if you see that is the x axis we find that the upper and lower portions are totally different. So we are going to consider this line of symmetry for different figures. As I mentioned here this is called the axis of symmetry. So a figure may have one axis of symmetry, 2, 3, 4 or many many axis of symmetry. So let us try to understand the symmetry concept with the help of some figures. Now let us take the figure of a triangle. Now if you take the figure of a triangle, there are different types of triangles. You know that a triangle could have all the three sides equal to each other and if the triangle is equal to each other, all sides are equal, then we say that this is an equilateral triangle. Now once we know that each angle is 60 degrees, let us find out in how many ways we can divide this triangle into two identical parts. Now if I am going to divide this with the help of a line like this, then what happens is that on the right side and on the left side, we find two small triangles. And these two small triangles you will find when I am going to fold it, if this is the line and this is we are making it on a piece of paper, if you are going to fold it then this portion is going to coincide with this. So when this portion, this triangle is going to coincide with this triangle on the left then we can say that this figure is symmetrical. So this is one line of symmetry. We could also have another line of symmetry through B in this manner and we could have another line of symmetry through C. So in an equilateral triangle we find that the order of symmetry is equal to 3. So there are 3 ways in which an equilateral triangle can be divided such that the left and the right or on either side the figures will coincide. Next type of triangle is when 2 sides are equal that is called an isosceles triangle. Now what is an isosceles triangle? Let us make the diagram for that. Here we are having a triangle ABC. Let us consider the sides AB is equal to AC. So we have two sides AB and AC equal to each other. This side is of a different dimension. That is why we call this triangle isosceles. In an isosceles triangle you will find that there is only one line which can divide the triangle into two identical parts and that is through A. That means I can say that triangle ABD and triangle ACD are exactly of the same dimensions or if I fold this from here then this portion ACD will coincide on ABD. So the order of symmetry here we can say is only 1. Then what about a scalene triangle? In a scalene triangle that means none of the sides are equal. We have different dimensions here. This is A, B and C. All the three sides are of different dimensions we find that however we try to divide this, we will try to divide like this, we find that this triangle is small and this triangle is big or we try to divide it horizontally, we find that the portions will never coincide, they are unequal. So we will say there is no symmetrical portion or there is no symmetry for scalene triangle. So in this type of triangle, scalene type of triangles, the order of symmetry is going to be 0. So we saw that in triangles itself, there are different orders of symmetries.